Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I want to share with you tonight um, a story of uh, the great contribution that Retail Trust make to colleagues in our industry and a live example uh, of somebody who has really ben benefited from the work they've done. At the age of 17, Dan Moxon joined Maplin Electronics as a colleague working in our warehouse at our uh, distribution centre up in Rotherham in Yorkshire. Uh, Dan worked hard for two years, just left school eager to learn and had a real impact on the colleagues around him and then unfortunately at just the age of 19 was diagnosed with leukaemia. Daniel went through a long process of uh, chemotherapy, it was a very rare form of leukaemia and thankfully um, in late 2009, he came through uh, the illness. Now, in true Dan style, he got straight back to work, literally within a matter of weeks, uh, having had a bone marrow transplant and contributed and grew in the role he played in the business over the next three years. And sadly, in March 2012, uh, the leukemia came back uh, and uh, Dan had to go back in again for another round of chemotherapy and uh, very, very tough for him to face into having thought he'd won through a terrible illness. He worked tirelessly to beat the illness uh, and unfortunately in July 2012, uh, Sheffield Hospital where he was at, the consultants uh, gave him and his mum the disastrous news that there was nothing more they could do um, and unfortunately the news you really don't want to hear that he had at longest six weeks and more likely three weeks to live. Now, as you would expect, uh, the only thing on his mum's mind, Dawn Moxon, was to prove the hospital wrong. And she went out of her way with Dan's sister to spend as much time and effort as they could finding a way to make sure that this wasn't reality. And they spent uh, 36 hours uh, non-stop on the internet trying to find a solution. One came up, uh, but it was in America and had a price tag of a quarter of a million pounds, well beyond their means. And as a measure of the impact that Dan had had on the people that he worked around, um, the colleagues at Maplin that he worked with in 10 days managed to raise 19,000 of the 250,000 pounds he needed, uh, which was a fantastic step forward and probably and at that stage, singly, the most important thing in giving Dan some hope. But you know, things really changed uh, when the Retail Trust, along with the Anthony Nolan Trust, started to work together to try and help Dan's plight. Um, and despite the, the horrible prognosis that he'd been given from Sheffield Hospital, they put him in touch with the Royal Marsden Hospital, well known for the great work it does with children who are trying to win against the, fi the fight against cancer. Um, and look, this was back in September when Dan went in, and remember, he had been told in July that he had six weeks to live, so he'd already proven them wrong through a bit of hard work and effort. And I'm pleased to say that by the 21st of December, uh, Dan was classed as clear of leukemia through the work that they had done. And, um, and then, uh, you know, he was uh, doing so well that they were able to give him a, a further bone marrow transplant, and that came two days before the new year. And I think you'll agree, you couldn't wish for a better Christmas and New Year present for either Dan or his mum on that basis. Now, Dan's not out of the woods yet. Uh, unfortunately, he's had some uh, rejection uh, to the bone marrow transplant uh, and he's got to fight his way through that and I think that's going to take him three to four months for him to hopefully fight through the challenge of that uh, but at least the leukemia is behind him and he's in the best hands uh, that can look after him. And the great thing about this is that and the one thing that makes the retail trust completely different uh, is the fact that they put action before bureaucracy. And in every occasion that we've asked for a bit of help, help and assistance for Dan, literally the same day somebody has taken action. Uh, they've either had the cash made available to help him, 
or they've had a counsellor on hand to support his mum 200 miles away from the rest of her family, or they've found her accommodation to be able to stay next to her son who may not make it through the next day. And I think that's the measure of the trust uh, that and the, the fund that you support and what makes it such an important uh, charity for us to, to work with and work for. And as a result of that, we will also be pledging £25,000 tonight to the Retail Trust. <laughs> but you just, just to round out and really tell you how much this really means. So last Friday, while Stan's mum sat by his bedside wondering whether he's going to make it through this, this uh, donor rejection issue, she said she wanted to leave uh, everyone here tonight with a message. And so let's see her video. Hello everyone, I'm here at the Royal Marsden Hospital in Sutton, Surrey. Um, I'm Daniel's mum. Unfortunately, he can't be here to do this personal message. He's asked me to do it on his behalf and I'm more than happy to. Um, he's a little bit poorly at the moment, um, but from where we were back in July, he's made remarkable progress. Um, it just needs to keep fighting that little bit further and I'm sure he'll be home very soon. What we both would like to say is thank you so much, both to Maplin uh, for the... Gosh, what they did for us was unbelievable. They went over and above the call of duty um, and also to the Retail Trust. It's not an exaggeration to say that we really could not have managed without both of you. Um, the Retail Trust is such a fantastic cause and once again, Thank you so much both to Maplin and to the Retail Trust and we both hope you all have a fantastic night. Thank you again.